There are many types of nodes, but they mostly offer similar types of editable values. From simple float values and matrices to actual textures and even sliders, you'll find that it is intuitive and easy to set up. The data flows from left to right. Input ports are always on the leftmost side and output ports are always on the rightmost side. Connecting a wire is quite simple, you simply drag and drop it onto a node port. You can connect an output port to any number of input ports, but input ports use a single input. You can change a wire input port by grabbing it directly from an input port using the left mouse button. You can override any wire point by holding the Ctrl or Command key and left mouse button. To delete a wire, hold the Alt key and click on the desired port. You can also drag it into an empty canvas area and left click to remove it. Highlighted wires are meant to represent data flow of networks connected to the master node. That's pretty much all you need to know about the editor in order to start building your own shaders. Be sure to also check our product page for a full manual and a searchable node list.